G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the acoustic version of Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day. If you want to learn how to play the electric guitar version, I also have a video for that. The link is in the description below. If you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you really want to improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Let's get started with this amazing song that's a whole lot of fun to play. So for the basics we'll need a guitar in standard tuning and you'll need a capo on the first fret of your guitar. The guitar I'm playing is a Cole Clark Angel 2 in Californian Redwood with elixir strings. Starting with the verse we have a really easy 4 chord chord progression. The 4 chord chord progression is E minor, then we have G, then D, and then A. In terms of strumming pattern, we're going to use a really simple strumming pattern that goes like this. Down, 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 up. We're going to play that once for each chord, and the simple verse sounds like this. Now just a quick tip for your chord transitions. Each chord has at least one note in common with the next chord, so there's no need to lift your fingers completely off the fretboard when you're moving to the next chord. So from E minor to G, you keep your index finger on that second fret of the fifth string. And then from G to D, you keep your ring finger there on the third fret of the second string. And then from D to A, you just slide your ring finger down from the third fret to the second fret. So you can use those fingers in common as anchor points to get you to your next chord. Now if you want to go more true to the recording, then there's actually two strumming patterns that we can use here. The first strumming pattern is a bit of a variation and it goes down, 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 up. And that's played for the first three chords and the fourth chord is played with the strumming pattern that we learnt earlier. So if you want to play it more true to the recording, then it will sound like this. But for the purposes of this lesson and the playthrough at the end, I'm going to keep it consistent with the down, 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 up for the whole verse. We move on to the pre-chorus, which is really easy. It's the same chords for the verse, but we add one extra chord, which is the E minor 7 slash B. So to play that, we'll just take our middle finger, put it on the second fret of the fifth string, and strum from the fifth string onwards. Now for this pre-chorus, we're going to keep that same strumming pattern down, 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 up for the first three chords. For the fourth and fifth chord, they share a strumming pattern, which is just down, 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 down. And the point at which you change is just on that last down strum. So from the A to the E minor 7 slash B, down, 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 down. And in total for the pre-chorus. Next we get to the chorus, which has two lines of chords. We start with a C, then a G, a D, and then an E minor. And we're just going to use the down, 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 up strumming pattern. We repeat that first line of chords through three times, and our second line of chords is C, G, and then B5. So from this G chord, just keep your index finger where it is, and then take your ring and pinky finger and put on the fourth frets of the fourth and third strings. So this is a B power chord. Now you want to keep your second and first string muted and also the sixth string are muted as well. And to mute that you can just take your middle finger and lightly rest on the top of that sixth string. So that when you strum all the strings, only that B5 rings out. Now the B5 is the only chord that has a different strumming pattern, which is just five down strums. And after that fifth down strum, just mute all your strings and we have a bit of a pause. That's it for the chorus and in total it sounds like this. So that's it for the chorus and the solo section rhythm 
is also exactly the same as well. The only difference is that our B5 chord is actually strummed with 13 down strums and then we have that pause. So a good way of counting out 13 strums is breaking it up into groups of four and then adding the one. So one, two, three. Next we get to the outro, which is just chords as well. We have two lines of chords here. We start with an E minor, then a C, a D, and then an A slash C sharp. So to play that, you're gonna bar your index finger across the second fret of the fourth, third, and second string. Ring finger hits the fourth fret of the fifth string. So that's A slash C sharp. Then we have G, and then an E flat five. And then we're just going to actually bar our index finger across the 6th and 5th strings here to get a bit of a lower note in there. So that's what I'm going to call our E flat. We're going to strum each chord with a down, 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 down up. The first line of chords sounds like this. Repeat that first line of chords through three times, and then the second line of chords is almost identical, but the G to the E flat is shortened a little bit. So the G and the E flat are just played with two down strums, down, down, like that. And the second line of chord sounds like this. And then we end the song. So that's it for the strummed rhythm. I'll teach you a cool little intro you can play as well if you want to. So to play this cool little intro, we're going to take our index finger, put on the second fret of the fifth string, pinky finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string. You're gonna pluck the sixth, fifth, fourth, and third strings. Like that. After that, you'll take your middle finger and put on the third fret of the sixth string. Pluck that, then pluck the fourth string and then put your index finger down on the second fret of the third string, pluck that and hammer on with your pinky finger onto the fourth fret. Lift it and hit the second fret again. So that second section. And in total for the first bar. Then for our next bar, keep your index finger where it is. You can lift your middle finger now. We pluck the fourth string third string with your ring finger put on the fourth fret of the fourth string pluck that and slide up to the fifth fret that's a slow slide so you're gonna hit that note hold on to it for a bit and then slide up then we'll play an A chord but you just bar your index finger across that second fret and we pluck the fifth fourth and third strings so the second bar two Three and four and. So that's it for the first line of tab. And the second line of tab is identical, except when we go to our A chord, we're just going to hit the bass note and hold it there. So in total, this nice little intro that you can play for the acoustic version sounds like this. Next, I'll teach you how to play all the lead riffs. And these actually don't require a capo. So I'm gonna actually take my capo off. You can leave it on, but just note that any of the tab that I show up here is relative to no capo. So when I say eighth fret in the tab, it's eighth fret of the tab with no capo on. But you can leave your capo on because it won't really affect the notes that you're playing. So we're gonna start with eighth fret of the second string and then ninth fret of the second string. And that's played on the two end beat. So one and two and. Then on the fourth beat, we're going to go on the 11th fret, pluck that and slide up to the 13th. And then on the end beat, go back to the 11th fret. And then on the next bar, on the two end beat, play the eighth and ninth fret again. So in total, the riff sounds like this. Next, let's move on to the solo, which is really simple, and it's similar to that verse riff. 
We're gonna start with the 10th fret of the third string though on the one and beat. So we pluck that twice, one and, then eighth and ninth. Then everything else is the same as the verse riff. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. You repeat that first line through three times. Then for the second line of tab, when we get to the second bar, we're just gonna actually move up to the 13th fret and we're gonna pluck this a total of 13 times. So a good way to break this up is into chunks of four plus one. So the second and third line of tab. Now I'll be doing a full playthrough and I'll have some vocals on top. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks for watching. If you want to learn how to play this on the electric guitar, then I have a lesson for that too. There's a link in the description below. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. It'd mean the world if you could hit that like button, hit subscribe, click the little notification bell as well, so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, or requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.